safe, so I hope that you're keeping well and that you and your loved ones are blessed. It's Bianca and I'm back again with another vocal analysis. So listen, I have been getting emailed, messaged, comments, everything in relation to Pete telling me I need to listen to this song. And you know what, VNA squad? I get it. I absolutely get it. Gabriel Henrique is an absolutely brilliant vocalist without a shadow of a doubt. I have done vocal analyses on his previous songs. I think it was I Have Nothing and I can't remember the other one that I did. It was a while ago now, but I've been blown away by this gentleman before and I am looking forward to seeing what he does with this song because to be honest, this song, you need to have soul. You need to understand the assignment in regards to what you are singing. It cannot just be for vocal sake. And I'm gonna do this as in first time listening to it because I have not listened to the song yet. So my experience with you will be raw. I promise you that. So peeps, if you like what you hear as well as what you see, don't forget to join the Vocal Nova community and subscribe. And of course, definitely let me know how you found this performance if you haven't already in the comments below. And yeah, let's get into the video. You ready? Okay, let's go. I better walk in with my face run to the sun. Weight on my shoulder, I bullet in my gun. Okay, so for a start, I am just gonna love the fact that the control that he has is absolutely brilliant because again, this is not an easy song to sing as well, never mind the message, but I love the fact that he has also chosen a key that clearly suits his voice. He hasn't necessarily opted for Cynthia Arrivo's um, key signature. He's transposed it down to a key that's more suitable. That is a very smart thing to do as a vocalist. It's not all the time we have to do things in original keys. Find the key that works for you and that makes your vocal tessitura, your sweet spots, shine in the song, and that's what he's doing already. I also love the way he did his vocal run on the Wayne on my shoulder. I love that. And he kept it very internal, the He didn't just Because I don't think that would have necessarily suited this song, in my humble opinion just my opinion, but I like the way that he really closed it in. That was nice. Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head, yeah, just in case I had to run. And now he's fully open. He didn't necessarily give us the Cynthia Arrivo version where she does, oh, I got eyes on the back of my head. He did, oh, I got eyes on the back of my head, yeah. Yes, and now he's giving us his interpretation of this and it's nice it's nice and broad it's definitely thicker and we're getting more of his voice qualities where he's got that slight brass in his sound that's nice I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people while the clouds were back and the stars feel the night that's when I'm gonna stand up take my people If I remember rightly, Gabriel is Brazilian, yeah? And I really appreciate the fact that he doesn't shy away from the fact that he is Brazilian and that he will speak Portuguese predominantly to my understanding. So he really holds on to the fact that he is Brazilian and his dominant accentation, his dominant sound is going to have that slight twang with it. It's going to have those nuances. So where he did that, I do what I care, what I care, what I care for my people, right? He didn't necessarily overkill it and try and be too American, which was nice. He didn't give us those nuances overkilled. He still kept and held true to his own identity, which I think is very noble because people could try and come for him and say, oh, that just sounds da -da 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 -da, when in all actuality, he is just respecting who he is. And I think that's great because his sound vocally and melodically is still crystal clear, which is excellent. Oh, He didn't just far across the river. He gave us far across the river. He really dominated that vibrato there. I hear freedom calling. He got again into the vibrato there. And then as he ended that last line, I'm happy that he went lower. I can feel it in my bones. 
And again, he decided to internalize the which can also add, for me, a little bit more intensity to that end line because your bones should be the thing where it's like, oh, you know when you feel that shiver in your bones when you get cold all of a sudden? That's what he basically gave to me melodically and I received that quite well. So yeah, let's carry on. Yeah. So now he's giving us more of Gabriel. Yay! Ooh. That was really, really nice. And now he started higher. Early in the morning. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. So let's see where he's going to go. Before the sun begins to shine. So here, I am going to be honest, like I said, because it's the first time I'm listening to it. I feel like I'm getting a little bit too much too soon in terms of the vocal melisma. That's just my humble opinion, because I would have preferred for the vocal melisma that he is giving, which is so fluid and flipping fantastic. I would have wanted him to pace himself with the way that he delivers it, because the lyrical content here is still quite heavy. It's still quite weighty. And I feel like at this point in time, I'm enjoying the melody way more than I'm thinking about the lyrical content. So if I was a first time listener listening to this song, I would somewhat completely dismiss what's being said and more so focus on what he is doing, which depending on if that's your mission as the vocalist, then you've won in terms of if you want to make it about what you are doing right now. However, if you want to have a nice equilibrium of both, then I think he could have just held back a little bit just before he went into giving us the full throttle, well, the capacity of what he can deliver melismatically. But overall, obviously, his sound is still absolutely smack daddy mint. Oh, I'm waiting for for the waters. We know I can have made up my oh, oh. And I don't mind if I lose any blood on the way to salvation. See, the ending of it there now is what I'm on about because I wanted to listen to what he was saying and he caused me to do so, especially when he got to the to salvation because he brought back the focus to the lyrical content. And me personally, it's very important as a vocalist to make sure you've got that equilibrium. You can definitely showcase your excellence, your skill set, your craft, but the artistry, which is mainly delivering the storyline, has to make sure that it's got a nice equilibrium. You've got to make sure that there's cohesion with both areas. And I felt like towards the end of that verse, he did that. I also love the extreme clarity that we had in the waters. That was lovely, super clear tone there. That was nice. So I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home. you'll ever see this but this is what I'm talking about with you this is what makes you a first class act did you hear how perfect in my humble opinion that was and I don't think there's an issue with that being perfect the way he switched between his registers absolutely gorgeous but I know and that might be hard to first class all alone and that rundown was just absolutely gorgeous that was perfect that was perfect. And I trust myself, but I know they try. Just those feet of the sky. Take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home. Fire across the river. Oh. 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 O
on, keep it on. Okay, so in regards to what I said earlier on, this is now the time, this is the space where you will show people the difference between you being someone who likes to sing and someone who is a vocalist. It would be at this point and he did it at that point. That was beautiful. The way that he was able to give that staccato rhythm over that whistle tone, that was absolutely delightful. I have never heard someone sing this song like this before. And to be honest, I don't know if I ever will hear someone sing it like this again outside of Mr. Enrique. That was perfect. Oh my goodness gracious me. Well done. Well done, Gabs. Well done. <laughs> especially my BNA squad, by the way, if you're not a part of the BNA squad, go on, do it, do it. Right, let me get back to it. You guys know, and I'm thinking about when he did I Have Nothing. That was the one that I did an analysis on previously. When he gets into that grittiness into his voice and he just lets it rip through. I love that. That was beautiful with that river was absolutely gorgeous and he held that he sustained it clean that was beautiful mm, yeah yeah it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while since i have caught up with gabriel but i am so happy that i have and i'm so happy that you guys were telling me listen to this song because yeah i'd have been silly not to right i know i know i know forgive me <laughs> was absolutely delightful. I am so chuffed that I got to experience that holistically and organically, that was wonderful. And shout out to the fact that he also decided to introduce the choral aspect. I think that made a big difference. It really kept the fact that this song is a journey between a collective of people, between a legacy of people. You know what I mean? That was wonderful. Yes. Peeps, that is my vocal analysis of Gabriel Enrique's stand-up cover. Please let me know in the comments below how you found this performance. And if you want to see more of my Gabriel Enrique analyses, feel free to do so by clicking the description below and you will see one or two there, I think so. Yeah. But peeps, much love and God bless and I will see you very soon. Bye.